Hi, my name is Eric Wilson. I'm an independent licensed mechanic with 35 years of service. So what I'm going to show you in the next five minutes is the inside story on this 08 Dodge Aspen so you can make an informed decision whether this is for you or not. Now first of all, coming in on the treads on the front tires, you got, these are good aggressive treads and you got about 60-70% on your treads here. So lots for the, uh, good tread for the winter time. Uh, on your, your, your front, your front brakes, You've got about 30,000 K left on your front, or 25,000 K left in your front brakes. Your rotors look clean. Uh, your, your suspension here, I'm not seeing anything. This is, your, this is your upper control arm here. This is your upper control arm here, and I'm not seeing any issues with that. I've got a jack under the front, and I'm going to just try that right now. And yeah, this upper control arm here is uh, good and strong and uh, with no wear, which is good. Now, under the front, under the front left, I've got the jack underneath there and I'm not seeing anything. The shock, you can see there, good and dry. The CV boot not ripped, the front or back, uh, inner and outer. Uh, everything is intact in the front left. Now coming in on the front right, again, treads about, about the same, about 60% tread. Good aggressive treads for, uh, for the winter time. On your, the suspension here. Okay, you see your CV boot in there? That is intact. Your inner CV boot is intact. Sway bar link is good. See your shock with the white yellow line on it? Good and dry. That's always important. And this is a, this is a torsion bar, so there is no spring. So everything I'm seeing in the front is intact. Uh, on the, I'm not on the underside of the motor. I'm not seeing any oil leaks which is a good sign no leaks in that and then this is the bottom of the radiator and uh, no leaks in that as well now coming in on the front right brakes same about yeah about uh, 20,000 K left on the front brakes and your rotors good and clean as well on your upper control arm this is good and tight and that's really important because uh, and uh, yeah, so nothing a concern on the front or right or left suspension. Now on the front or the rear, the rear right again, about 60, 70 percent on your tread there. On your, uh, if you can see inside there, this is your shock right there, and it comes, it's just, it comes right down to there and good and dry. Nothing I can see of importance in there. Uh, your differential, good and dry, no leak. Which is good. Your shot, your exhaust. I'm not seeing any issues with your exhaust because they're stainless steel and they never do. They last pretty much forever. And your, uh, I'll check your brakes on the right, on the right rear right now. Okay, brakes. You got about 20,000 K on the rear brakes as well. It's nothing. Uh, so you got lots of brakes left. Now this is a spare tire. Not the same rim as the other ones. I'm not sure if he's got a, another rim. I'm sure he does, though. Now, on the uh, the the right, okay, the left rear, gain about 50 to 60 percent on your tire, on your shock, good and dry. Very important. Yeah, not seeing anything wrong with the linkages down here. On uh, no leaks that I can see of. Rust is not too too bad for the year of it. So, nothing I can see of concern as far as the right and left rear end here. Okay, you do have a crack in your windshield. Runs right along there. Not in the sight of vision. Or no, there's another crack down there too. So, you do have a crack in the windshield. And with the motor running, we have... What's our K here? Uh, oh, hang on. What's our K? Okay, with the motor running, uh, you've got, uh, there's only, the only light, you got a, a low tire light, that's the only thing on. So no check engine lights, just a quick perusal of the, uh, your dash there. Everything looks intact in here. Uh, missing uh, the cruise control button on here. I'm not sure what that story is, but that's missing. Okay, now you got the... You get the 5.7 Hemi in these things, and those those motors are rock solid. Uh, uh, very powerful, very solid, and uh, trannies are great as well. And what I always do is I take a look under the uh, the uh, 
the under the the oil cap, which this is the oil filter cap, and to see if there's any white goo, uh, which would mean an internal leakage, and there is none. So that and what I've and what I've heard of it run, it's not. I don't hear any concerns at all with this motor. It's been well maintained. Battery's good and strong. Uh, yeah, I'm like mechanically, I'm not seeing any real issues with this car. Uh, a couple of things, uh, dings on it that I'm going to show you one right now. Okay, now this has got a ding down the side of the of the of the, the door here, and this tire is uh, not the original. I think he's got the. I'm not sure if he's got the 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 other, but this is a spare, so you'll have to just be aware of it. And uh, anyway, that is just uh, the five minute story, and I want you to so you can make an informed decision whether this is for you or not. And uh, have a good one.